Hello and welcome to episode 17 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Project Globe Explorer here on Theme Park Worldwide. So yes, I'm back with another episode and this is the final video where I'm going to be working on my New York themed area. I've spent the most amount of time on this area uh, out of any of the others in the park, uh, mainly due to the size of it. Of course, we've got that humongous B&M Giga Coaster, uh, all the different buildings, a drop ride, a junior coaster, various different flat rides uh, and a an outdoor drop tower as well so there's a lot of work that went into this area and uh, in this episode it's just putting in them finishing touches uh, like the coaster station that I'm working on here uh, and also that area around the drop tower as well uh, pretty much to the left hand side of the area uh, that's nearly complete now other than a few finishing touches uh, that again I'm going to be adding in this episode uh, but it was mostly just adding some buildings on the right hand side uh, putting in some more skyscrapers uh, and working on all of that uh, now originally there was hardly going to be any green on this side at all and it was going to be a lot of uh, just buildings like big blocks of buildings not really any details on there or anything um, you know and, and, and that was my plan with it however as I started to add in some of the skyscrapers in front of the uh, lift hill for the Giga Coaster. I started to think, actually, you know, I don't want to overdo the whole sort of massive buildings thing. Um, so I'm not doing too many over on this side. Uh, you just got the coaster station uh, that's going to be a building and a couple of other bits over there by the drop tower. Uh, like I say, the gyro drop tower, I wanted it to like emerge from a building and that's what I'm going to work on now. Um, but yeah, now I started to, you know, the area's nearly complete. I thought, you know what, actually, I don't want to put too many more buildings into the area because I think it might look a bit too much got to remember yes this is you know inspired by New York but I don't want it to look too sort of not like a theme park either so that's my plan here there's some more buildings going in but a lot of trees and a lot of landscaping of course in actual New York there's not loads and loads of trees on every street corner and, and stuff you know it's not like that it is mostly buildings so um, yeah the plan is here um, yes to add a few more in however uh, do a lot of really nice landscaping around there as well as you're going to see in this episode I just didn't want it to look too boxy um, you know around at the end of the day it is a theme park it's supposed to look um you know really pretty and even more beautiful and i think the other areas do and i feel like if I'd have sort of moved away from that and done what I'd originally planned with all of this around here, it wouldn't have looked great and it wouldn't have sort of fitted in with the rest of the park. So that's my plan here. Yes, there's a lot more green than I was originally intending, um, but I think, yes, it is needed just to sort of make the area still look pretty and not too much like a city either. I'm not saying that cities aren't pretty because they are, and I love New York. I've been three times over the past couple of years. I love New York, but, um, you know, this is a theme park at the end of the day. It's about immersing people into an environment. So... Uh, that's my plan here in terms of making sure that all the buildings aren't too much, um, but we are adding some in as well. So, uh, yeah, from the water, I think it's looking really nice there, actually. When you look from the Brooklyn Bridge over towards the area, um, it looks fantastic. And as you can see, we're working on the uh, drop tower just here now. Uh, so it will emerge from a building um, and up into the sky. It's the tallest ride at the park. You'll get some fantastic views um, looking all around, especially right over at the Giga Coaster, having another really all right right next to it uh you know means there'll be some great interaction can you imagine going on it and waving over from the giga coaster uh, over to the people at the top of the uh the drop tower you know so that'd be really nice Here's some of that uh, landscaping going in that I was talking about. Just like I say, originally I had plans to have more buildings and shops all the way around this side, but I just don't think it would look great. I, I, you know, I, I want to, the area as it is now, I think looks great. However, I wanted to make it more beautiful. And that's what you're going to see me doing in this episode It's making it look more like a theme park still, because I, I kind of felt like it was going away a little bit from that. Um, here, there was going to be more buildings again, scrapped all that off, putting in some water, extending out from the main lake um, over at the back there there was going to be some buildings all around the queue line for the coaster that's now going to be a very green area as well um, so yeah it's, it's just adding a lot more greenery in than I was originally going to and I know New York isn't really like that but you know this is still a themed area in a theme park and there would still be a lot of trees visible you know um, around it so that's my plan here 
Um, also coming up in this episode then, I'm going to be uh, going through the names that I've picked for these rides uh, because in the next episode, very exciting, we're actually going to have a break from building and get people into this park. It's a bit of a soft opening. Of course, the park's not finished yet, but it's a soft opening, uh, which means it's going to let people in, see how they flow around the park on the paths, see how they experience the rides, see what they like with the food outlets and stuff. Um, you know, that, that's my plan in the next episode. Along with that, there's going to be some on-ride footage from every ride that I've built so far. Bit of a recap over the different areas that we put in. Of course, uh, we started off when we put in the United Kingdom as the entrance area, uh, then moved over and built a China-themed area. Um, following on from that, of course, we did Spain, then the Netherlands, and at the moment, the USA uh, with New York. So, you know, we've, we've built these five different areas, and it's all come together beautifully. So I just want to sort of go over what we've done in the past 17 episodes, have a bit of a break from building, and take you guys on the ride now there's other rides around as well of course some of the views and sight lines would have changed from the rides since I took you on them when I last built them so um, yeah that'll be quite nice and we'll get the guests in and just see how they react to all the different rides along with that as well I'm going to be spending some time between this episode and the one next week uh, where we're going to open the park for a soft opening uh, I'm going to make sure all the rides are named to all of your suggestions along with that as well uh, I'm going to put in a few more food outlets in some of the buildings where I've left empty at the moment um, ready for them uh, and just generally put, get, prepping the park really uh, I'll, I'll be doing a little bit on uh, getting some staff in in the next episode as well however I won't be focusing on that too much until I do the grand opening for the park whenever that may be um, when I decide that uh, you know my computer can't handle it anymore uh, and I can't add any more areas but a lot of people have said you know uh, if I am going to leave some areas blank don't just leave them blank put in some trees so that is something I will do and it means that you can remove the trees then if you want to or place them somewhere else so you can put in your own themed areas in some of the empty space because you know I'm not going to be able to finish this whole landscape my computer is not going to handle it um, but I'll try my best to go as far as I can then I'll put in loads of trees just to fill in the gap so it does look like a complete park and then you guys can add your different sort of expansions on there uh, when it is released at the end of the series um, in the Steam Workshop. As you can see, I've gone back to the left-hand side now, uh, working on the boardwalk style area. I had these buildings in place, but I now wanted to add some details onto there uh, just to make them look a bit more pretty. Um, so that's exactly what I'm doing here. New windows, signage, and uh, so much more going onto there. Uh, anyway, I'll leave you looking at me do this for the next few minutes as I start uh, adding some more details. And I'll be back shortly uh, where I'm actually going to be uh, revealing the final names um, for this New York area.
So as you can see, all of the buildings along the waterfront there have really started to come together nicely. We've got like the ice cream shop along there. As you can see, we've got a fake hotel that I've put in, which is just a facade, really. Um, if, if this was a real life park, that'd be like office buildings and stuff in there. Maybe use it at Halloween for a scare maze and stuff. But, um, you know, it's just nice to have all these buildings along the waterfront there. And stuff can be added into these later on in the future with this park. As it gets busier and more guests are coming in, you know, I can just remove a few windows and stuff and put in uh, more food outlets and stuff along there. Uh, mistakes that I've made in the past with Planet Coaster has been putting in too many food outlets throughout the park. So I've really tried not to add too many in throughout this. And of course, there's a few more needed in some of the other areas that uh, I've left space for. And I am going to add them in, uh, like I say, between this episode and the next one. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go too sort of overkill on the food. Uh, I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, I can always have, add more in if I want to uh, later on as the park develops. Develops. As you can see then, they're starting to add some more finishing touches now, including the uh, Junior Coaster Station just there. Um, starting to do some of the exterior work on that. Uh, just needed finishing off, really. Some more uh, panels in the bottom, uh, a couple of more roof pieces going in just to make it look a bit more pretty. And that's the thing with me. As, as I mentioned in previous episodes, I do sort of, um, you know, start work on a building and then I'll move on to the next one before finishing it. That's just my sort of technique that I do, really, especially when I'm building a full area like this. Um, um, it was a bit different when I worked on the entrance to the park and some of the other areas, but with this New York area, I wanted to get the style and the shape of it right before I added in the details, because I could have got later down into the pr uh, process of this and then thought, actually, I don't like that building, then I demolished it, and uh, yeah, I would have wasted a lot of work putting in all the details like the windows and plant pots and lighting and that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I've tried not to uh, you know, do that with this one. Um, be able to sell in some more archways and stuff there. Of course, that's inside Central Park. Um, so I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, it looks nice and pretty and uh, to fit in with the uh, iconic area. Uh, anyway, should we talk about some names, shall we? Uh, because we've got the names uh, for the final few rides inside this New York themed area. So um, let's go through those, shall we? Starting off with a name for the Air Race. And uh, Sophie Cook has come up with this one. As always, I'll look through the YouTube comments on every video on Theme Park Worldwide. But our plan coaster series is 100% interactive you guys pick all of the names for all of the rides in the park and uh, yeah Sophie Cook has come up with the name Empire Flights um, so yeah I'm really liking that one uh, thanks for that Sophie uh, for the drop tower of course we've got the dark ride drop tower that we named in the last episode but we've also got the main drop tower itself and uh, that's outside it's the tallest ride at the park and a big thank you uh, to Harrison Kurzweil for this one who's come up with a very modern name it's 51 the drop I just thought that worked really well I mean you've got a lot of famous buildings in cities like London and New York that have like the street sort of uh, the, their place on the street as a number um, and then the name of it so yeah I really like that 51 the drop just quite a modern name uh, that's very fitting so I really like that um, and then of course we've got the Giga Coaster which is our signature ride in the park so um, you know a fantastic name was needed for this one with it being such an iconic attraction it will be the biggest coaster here uh, by a long way and a big thank you to Ryan Riddleton who came up with the original name uh, and then also Sonderax who sort of helped edit it a little bit in the YouTube comments and they were kind of talking with each other in the comments and they made it sound just a little bit better uh, so a big thank you to Ryan uh, Riddleton and also Sonderax who've come up with Lady Liberty's High Flyer I just think that's a fantastic name um, I just think it fits really nice as well with the area it's very iconic and we've not just gone for like one name straight out there uh, um, you know, four words, Lady Liberty's High Flyer. I just think it really stands out, and I think it's a fantastic name um, for that attraction. So a big thank you to everyone who suggested names, uh, but we've got a big one that I need you guys to suggest now, and this isn't a ride. This is a name for this park, so... As I mentioned uh, throughout the episode, and I've been building up to this now, uh, episode 18, the next video on this channel from Planet Coaster, um, is going to be this park opening up as a soft opening with people coming into the park. However, we need a name for this park, so this is a big one. So I need you guys, between this episode and the next episode, to come up with your best name that you think would fit this park now you've got to bear in mind this is a park that is based in the uk it's got a united kingdom entrance 
Um, you know, it's got a lot of greenery uh, with the landscaping. It is a British park. It's in the UK. So you've got to think that with the name. In terms of all the different countries, of course, we're taking you on this journey around. The project name was Globe Explorer, and that's something that stuck with me uh, all the way throughout this. Uh, it's an idea that I had, you know, quite a while back now, well over a year ago to do something like this. And yeah, Project Globe Explorer became that project name. It's now time for the real name, the park name. And I'm going to be picking that for the next episode. So you haven't got that long. You've got uh, between this one and the next episode to, to come up with that, which will be just over a week. So, you've, you know, you've got plenty of time, really, um, in that week to think of it. But also, it's not that much time, is it, considering, um, you know, we, we've, we've got that episode coming up again soon. So get your thinking caps on. Come up with something spectacular and it may get picked um, to, for, for, to be the name of this park. So it's very exciting, isn't it? Like, I, I'm really looking forward to looking through the comments and seeing what you guys come up with. I feel like we're going to get like a record number of people commenting with name suggestions for this one. Uh, so I'm really excited for it. Think big, think creative, but also think a bit different as well. I, I don't normally pick things what uh, you know are too familiar with other parks. I want it to be something really different. So also look back on the previous series on the names of the parks what we've done um, you know and you guys have come up with so yeah this is a big one a lot of responsibility on this it needs to be something spectacular um, with this one so the name for this part for Project Globe Explorer before we do the soft opening in the next episode uh, anyway, as you can see here, just adding some more of the road markings um, all the way around. Uh, like I say, you know, it, we've got a lot more green around here than what I was originally anticipating, but I think it was needed. It was starting to look a bit too much like a real city and not a theme park, so I really wanted to make sure we got that right. As you can see, I'm just having to lower all of those in just to make sure they don't stick up too much. Uh, and we're going to add in some more vehicles on the roads again because the Eagle Eye viewers noticed in the last uh, episode that some of the vehicles were facing in the wrong way for this side of the road of course this is a uh, United States of America area New York so the cars were facing the wrong way so thanks for picking up on that uh, because I was very silly and I didn't know this but um, yeah I'm making sure that we swap some of the vehicles around and also now this is all going to be roads as well spread the vehicles out a bit more um, as well so I'm not going to put as many next to each other I'm going to uh, spread them out just so it all looks a little bit better and more authentic um, but yeah just a bit of a, a recap really on everything we've done in this area it's spread over quite a few episodes it's been a big one to do uh, you know and there was a point a couple of episodes back where I was unsure on where I was going with this and I didn't know if it was going to look right however after adding more landscaping and trees in I think I've pulled it back to what I was hoping for it still looks really nice and pretty there's a lot more green than New York actually has however um, you know it's more of an extension of Central Park with some big buildings in really uh, this area which isn't originally what I was going to do or what I wanted but I feel like it what I wanted with this area changed over time and I'm really pleased with uh, how it's come together so yeah you've got all these roads all this greenery some nice buildings let's put some more vehicles in we've got all the crossing points the road markings um, yeah I I'm really pleased that it. it's come together really nicely uh, let me know your favorite area what I've built so far I would love to also know that down below in the video comments for me I'm probably going to say my favorite area I've built is the Spanish area because uh, I really like the buildings there and also with the hill uh, I think the Mac double launch coaster in there works really well. Um, but I think all the areas have come together nicely. But it's just that Spanish area for me really shines out. I just really like that. But uh, let me know your favorite area down below in the video comments and in episode 18 we're going to get some guests in this part we're going to do a soft opening and we're just going to see how they react to it is there enough toilet facilities information points first aid um how are they going to react to some of the rides you know a, a sunrise is going to be a bit too intense for people so they're not actually going to get that busy let's see how it goes you know it's not going to be enough rides not enough thrill rides not enough family rides kids rides you know that's the beauty of when you open a park you do uh, find all that out so i'm um, looking forward to that you can see i've just made a little blueprint there as well it's a great tool in planet coast you can make a blueprint and um, just say so you can copy and paste stuff around and that's what i'm doing here with these street lights uh, over the road there just to make sure that a we've got some uh, nice authentic street lighting and b um you know we've actually got an enough lighting on the path for it to operate as a theme park as well um but like i say you know some of these buildings i may come back to in the future or you guys can play about with when you do download it when the part's complete and i finish with it um, 
um, you know, you can sort of mess about with it as much as you want to then, can't you really? Um, you know, adding new bits into the buildings and stuff like that. You might take some down, put more rides in, or you may go and complete the whole thing as New York skyscrapers all the way across. You know, that's the that's the beauty of it. You can make those changes um, if you do want to. Um, just adding in some vehicles there then, like I say, making sure they're all facing the right way this time uh, for driving on the correct side of the road, of course, um, for over in the United States of America. Um, but yes, as you can see, we are coming to the end of this episode of Let's Play Planet Coaster Project Globe Explorer. And as I mentioned, get them suggestions coming in um, for those names uh, for the park. You know, it's a big one. Like coming up with a name for this scale of park really is something spectacular. So I'm looking for something uh, brilliant for that one. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading those. And also let me know your favorite area that I've built so far. And also why as well don't just put the area let me know why uh, just a few overviews then so you can see it of course we've got some of the rides testing there now ready for guests to come in uh, all the friends of employees and, and employees of the park coming in to do a soft opening of this park to see how they react to it you know their new workplace and let's see how it goes but thank you very very much for watching another episode of let's play planet coaster here on theme park worldwide i'm sean sandbrook and of course um, stay tuned for all the latest news updates from theme parks here in our uh, theme park news playlist you got let's play planet coaster and various different vlogs coming up as well on our youtube channel uh, thank you very much for watching and that means it's time to cue those credits see you all in the next video